Right, we're live. We have appeared. A wild bear has appeared. It's Tuesday. It's the start of... <coughs> excuse me, Pauper's Progress. Our second stream for new players. Hey Alex, how are you? Well, I hope. As uh, beginning of our second stream for new players, this time looking at getting from rank 6, which is where we currently lie. I have not played this account other than to complete dailies in casual mode. So we are still good old fashioned colonel. Uh, the aim is to get to field marshal on a deck that uses only standard and limited cards, which is this which is tokens, in effect. Kind of, with some substitutions, because we've had to put them in. If you're interested in that, you can check out YouTube. See the promo video where I talk about it all. Hi Nero, how are you? So well I trust. Um, but yeah, there's an in-depth video, actually quite short, on YouTube about the whole point of this project. Um, it should be fun. Uh, we are going to have a look at it. Uh, and we're going to see what our progress looks like as we attempt to get from rank 6 Field Marshal. as the first ranked game that has been played on this account since the season change, so... Fingers crossed, and here we go. Could be anything. No idea how this is going to be. My own experience uh, on the attempt to climb to Field Marshal on my main account has been interesting to say the least the early rush is in full foot so we might hit some speed bumps along the way and we're certainly going to see lots of british cards that is my psychic prediction is this person this person is rocking the cards 2023 world championships backing that's not at all intimidating i'm trying to recognize the name Somebody's who's uh, Chinese is better than mine is gonna have to do it for me. Suggestive that we're going to play frontline. Envisage Nero's right now. Um, it's what I'd be doing. Um, and they can decide if they want to sacrifice. This is, this is an interesting matchup for us. Tokens into frontline can be challenging. <laughs> seen this I know this this is this is a um, hyper aggressive tokens list um, not much else we can do so we will begin the chipping away process um, this can get out of hand very quickly if you've got the if you have the right drawer on this deck it's very very powerful because it's looking to leverage the incredibly cheap units and their activation Oh, this is a deck that I have at some point the desire to explore. Um, we can't produce enough bodies to completely do the thing. So what we're going to have to do is buff one body enough to remove a threat, which has to be this. Antikilus. Okay. Not gonna lie. It's looking rough. No surrender is a temporary out at best. But it is an out. Uh, five, six. Yeah, we can swing. I think we're cooked. But we will. Do our very best. Not dead until they find the extra one point of damage. 
Let's sort of park myself on one point of damage, come forward and win. I'll be very happy. No. Super well played. I feel most cool. That was a very efficiently played deck. Good start. Deep breath and back into it. Little mint tea. Steel Terror, welcome along. Hey Henry, how you doing? Welcome along everyone to the stream. Uh, this is indifferent, but we can work with it. Like to see at some point some actual tokens. Thank you. Totally forgot to do that earlier. I usually do that before I start streaming, but I had to swap accounts just as I was coming on. Much appreciated. Um, my reserves? Hopefully that should now be better. Because yeah, uh, I totally did not in any way fix them. And Hello to Steel Terror and Henry and Alex and anyone else who found my voice drowned out. Indeed. Hey, Jazzy, how are you doing? Um, well, we're off to a brisk start. We are calculate. Um, I think we can just right then. Oh, setting moderators. Yes, can be challenging. I use Nightbot for mine. Um, and then I went into Twitch settings to promote Nero. Uh, because it's handy to have a backup mod. Uh, how was your stream earlier, Henry? I missed it, but I did get the notification that you were live. I actually really love the fact that I can't keep up with all the cards streaming at the minute. Line's good. So, Steel Terror, are you new to uh, cards? I presume, at least relatively. Um, uh, assuming that the answer is yes, and Nero is kind enough to type exclamation point YouTube, uh, I have a, a whole bunch of videos on my YouTube channel um, about good decks. Uh, yeah, it's, it's probably still be quite helpful because what I do is I take decks that you can build from literally the two decks that you get having reached level 12 on your nations uh, with no crafting at all, and then I give late game versions of those decks. These are decks I highly recommend. Um, I've been contacted by various people who have said that those decks have gotten them to field marshal, uh, which always makes me happy. Go. Uh, it's been relatively effective. Uh, the videos have gone down quite well. I recommend watching those. But yeah, uh, the two decks I particularly recommend are US, Germany, Midrange or Frontline. Uh, depending on what you want to call it, and Japan, Germany, um, aggro. 
a specific reason I recommend those of the five that I've done. I've done one for each Darkening Nation, but of the five that I've done, those are the two that are probably the most consistent and have the advantage that they you can run them both at the same time, so you can level more than one nation. Um, and you can even then play into the Germany deck, because the third deck I did was a Germany-US deck, so you can actually run all three of those decks hopping between the others to keep raising your nation levels, which is how you're going to get more cards and expand your collection. So that's by far, in my opinion, the best way to go about it. And what we draw. Sure. Might as well take full advantage. So we'll remove you and start doing the work. So this is how tokens is meant to work. Alpine, in my opinion, is fun to play. Um, if the if your objective is just to play a fun archetype that you can enjoy and play around with and you're not bothered about field marshal or ladder climbing or any of that stuff, Alpine's playable. It's not, in my opinion, strong enough um, because there are so many limits. Uh, it, you could hit field marshal, as I think, yep, Nero has just said. You can definitely hit field marshal with it. But it's it's not competitive. Um, it would struggle against most of the competitive decks in the game. Um, you can effectively get lucky with it sometimes, which can be good. But that's, in my experience, not that common. A lot of the time you just find yourself locked out um, and suppressed, as you have noted, to death. Um... Also, board wipes, if you come up against um, Brit, Main, or even Brit Ally at the moment, um, as long as they can access about nine credits, you're done. Doesn't matter how big your units are. Hooray, our first victory. Offsetting our first defeat. Not complaining about our first defeat, because again, it was the card back of someone who was at the 2023 World Championships, so sure um no worries at all if you've got other questions as well uh all everyone in chat here is great um hey enrico uh, also a lot of the time i uh, like nero who's in chat mods for me is also a content creator and a very good player who does some good content and a lot of competitive players and people who i'm fortunate enough to call uh friends come and hang out and will usually answer lots of questions Plus, later on, you might be able to win yourself a free pack, because uh, after we've gone through a few games, um, I will set things up for freebies, because I got reloaded earlier on today. Thank you, 1939. Or I suppose I should really say Tuck 1939, but... Um, we don't really want to see the 25th. Frontal Assault's okay, but we're leaning hard here. I'm going to keep Sickle for clear, but really... That's a fairly terrible hand. Yeah, I mean, that is the other... I, I will say I tend to go out of my way, uh, which I think is what Nero is getting at. I will go out of my way to make sure that my content includes as many of my losses as my wins, and there's a whole series on YouTube that's going up as we do in which... I analyse Nero's games and Nero analyses mine to talk about value and the way that things work. This is ugly, by the way. This is this is most unpleasant. Um I think we just chip away and hope to draw something useful. I mean we don't. Very back footed here. Um, but yeah, I think the important thing with content is to be clear about wins versus losses, um, and more importantly, to ensure that you are actually honest about the fact that no one wins everything. Um, 
I am not going to lie. I am not a fan of this at all. So I'm going to put a big guard up till we can do something. Um, that was a good play. Um, thing is, so if we no surrender, I mean, we kind of have to no surrender. I don't want to no surrender, but we kind of sort of have to. Uh, and then we kind of sort of have to sacrifice basically all of them to survive. Off to a very bad start. Um, Wow. And the hits just keep on coming. Uh, can I get anything out to support the guard? Uh, I can... A one... Yes, we can. So we can do this. Which allows us to drop two light infantry. Then allows us to play a 503. Which gives us at least something to keep us from dying instantaneously um, we then get subbed out but it's not lethal that's fine now we can start to do some work yeah summoned into being it's okay now we can start to actually do some work so three four five six Seven would give me two massive frontline units to work, uh, two massive light infantry units to work with. Don't think we need the full seven. I um, think we can probably afford to do this slightly differently. Um, these are both four fives. So we can. Clear here because we don't really care. We can clear here. Clear here. Yes, we have a big five white tank in the back. Okay. Oh, there we go. GG's. Frontline does frontline things. close enough my friend it's close enough uh this being a pauper's deck and therefore needing some upgrades whenever we unlock a pack we're going to go and unlock the pack and open it go and see if there's anything that we can add to this deck from our wish list that will help us because we are not on a super strong deck this is not a helpful looking pack of cards um however we've picked up some nice Finland cards, they're very cute. Well, I'm sure enjoy those later. <laughs> yes, please. Well, we can't, Nero. Remember, we're not allowed to play that card. It's a special, and this is a pauper deck. No Baron of Ichi. No close combat. Special toys. We don't get the super shiny toys, we have to work with the, the basic ones. If anyone's wondering why this madness, this is actually an exercise that I recommend regularly to players who want to get better at the game. There is a lot of value in learning to use one in learning to use the basic tools of the game. Um And ensuring that we we know how to use them proficiently and working with only standard and limited cards yeah i did indeed uh at six o'clock we will do it i've got two for this evening um and i got reloaded uh Aelin was kind enough to sort me out ahead of the stream i know she's been if, if anyone he's streaming or casting and hasn't um 
as pointed out type exclamation point honey in chat you will be entered into a draw which can win you a free standard pack courtesy 1939 games i get to give away a couple of these every time i stream uh, i know if anyone's waiting for their reloads as streamers alan's been incredibly busy um she works very very hard um We can deal with this. Uh, do we want to do it? Yeah, I think we probably do. We can just... We're getting card draw out of it. This is going to be interesting, because this is going to be... Um, tokens versus tokens. Only they probably aren't running the same restrictions that we are, so we can only rely on playing better. Um, I like that. This is good, though. I don't mind that. Um, so we can clear and get some frontline presence. Yeah, we clear. We will get a little frontline presence. You can trade out if you so wish. Um, I'd like to pack our opponent into the support line with a full set of light infantry. Um, and then for them to do something like this, that's that's absolutely fine. So, not that they are necessarily... Well, please play one more. No, you're not going to drop another unit, but we can still get amazing value from Stars and Stripes here if we so wish. And I kind of think we do. The idea being that Stars and Stripes clears down most of what's in the back line giving them an unfavourable trade on their light infantry, then next turn we can think about using uh, No Surrender to spawn and advance and then start buffing. Speaking of No Surrender... Oh, it's going to be comedy gold, chat. We're going to do it differently, though. Eight. That's fine. And yes, you have your five damage unit. You can have one swing. And we'll see where we go. Uh, tokens on tokens is usually very smashy face. Um... We can do it, it's a good call. Um, no surrender is so good right now. So we can do this. We can no surrender. Um, we can frontal assault and just ask our opponents some questions. Uh, and then, if we live long enough, we, we can do some serious damage. So, uh, this is the card that we cannot play, but would love to. Uh, which is the 67th Baron of Ichi. It is a ludicrously powerful card um, that turns Alpine into a very viable format. Big buff. So... We have eight credits with which to play. This gives plus three plus three, uh, which takes us from eight to uh, sorry, my apologies, takes so more to five, which takes us to twenty. Um, we do this, then we do this because we are gentlemen and decent humans. Uh, and then we move on. Uh, trade until you can get into a position. Then look to bring your opponent into a position where they can't win. This is why we like sitting on those six cost cards. Thank you, Nero. Um, rolling pretty well. 
um, and we will keep ticking along. Uh, rank 5 player also on a Soviet deck. I don't want to overly presume, but token seems entirely plausible. Um... We'll get the board presence because the worst that happens is that we have to offset our credits next turn. Uh, as it turns out, we don't, uh, which is good. A line of engagement is the better play here than pushing forward because it instantaneously gives us frontline presence and gives us three bodies on the board instead of one. 503rd is also a really good play here. Brit ally, we're going to see a lot of that. Uh, 503rd is a very good find. Um, so, 503rd gives us survivability on these two tokens long enough to start actually getting some value out of them. Uh, and we can get even more survivability on another one next turn with Unity of Strength. Uh, I, I'm just elongating the death of my soldiers for the benefit of the greater strategy, as it were. Feels very Soviet. Um, two will get me to... So, two, three... Yeah, so we play this because it gives it blitz. Then we play this onto one of the ones which is active. We will happily remove the bomber and the enemy surrenders. Uh, understandably so. Uh, I just need to get rolling. Uh, I'm Slightly curious as to what the enemy was playing. Yes, I am. Yes, you can have feedback for the 77,000th time. Um, it's fine. They are working on it. Uh, and at least now we have managed to bug fix what that issue is. But yeah, another good win. Uh, I'm happy to see that. I like it when we get uh, a roll is obviously favorable when you're trying to gain up because once you get onto your third win and keep going from there then you're getting two stars every time rather than just one this is noted on the progress thing however i always find it's worth reiterating it for people who either haven't noticed or just have forgotten because i do regularly how the actual uh, system works we would very much like to draw a one drop um, it's okay, we can afford to fill our hand a little. Gives us a chance to... Okay. Um, yeah. Line of engagement's fine. There's a number of things I'd like to see. Have they go face? We can just remove the, the fighter with sickle. Oh, okay. They're going to sickle themselves. That's okay. We don't mind seeing that. We have another line of engagement to play, so that's neither here nor there. Uh, we will play that line of engagement because there honestly isn't another play that we're going to make. Usually I would advocate drawing first. There really isn't another play that I wanted to make there. Um, I wasn't going to draw anything more optimal than was in front of me. Um, Hattie's frustrating. Uh, she's going to be slow progress. Oh, 
Nice. Congratulations. It is, it is tough at times. Depending on the season, it can be very, very tough. Yeah, I think it's worth it at this point. Because we actually need something to stick on the board. Otherwise, we're just going to be fighting from the rear constantly. At this point, they actually have to start sacking units in. So you can sack the fighter in, which is valid. Hey, laser wars! And indeed, anyone who has not already, do make sure to type exclamation point honey if you'd like the chance to win a free pack. Uh, we've got a relatively good turn in front of us. It got a little bit less good. Because red devils are annoying. Um, however, it's not the end of the world. So, becomes, yeah, we do it this way around. Which then gives us something that we pathfinders all day, in my opinion. Skytrain is powerful, but often unplayed. I was talking about this when I got a sneaky stream earlier on today on my own climbed field marshal. Things a lot of the time, it, it Skytrain just sits unplayed in your hand because you find you have other things that you want to do. And Pathfinders is almost universally going to find you a good place to be played. So that little extra, um, when you get into the curve and uh, efficiency of your deck, is huge. Uh, extra one cost on every attack that you have to make, every order that you play against them, turning a zero operation cost attack into a... Um, yeah, this should work. Uh, into a um, one operation cost. The the change from one to the other is actually night and day. It's huge. Um, it is it is actually that one point is colossal. Um, plus they have what I consider to be the ideal frontline one drop stat line, which is one three. Three points of defense is a very important number because it's the break point for. Uh, attack valuation on um, one drop cards. You rarely, if ever, find one drops outside of really aggressive one drops with one health that can do three damage. So, actually, while it doesn't look like a lot, um, just put the engine down, um, it actually can be immense. Um, Generally speaking, most people consider the, the Red Devils to be an absolutely integral part of any frontline deck because they're so hard to remove. Honestly, you have to... It depends on how you approach the game and what you what your methodology is. Um, YouTube again. Yesterday, today, at some point, I dropped a, a video on precisely this on uh, deck building and the value of assessing um, credit economy and more specifically on assessing the credit curve and operational curve. So what I call the um, curve cost, which is what's accounted for in the deck builder in here, and the real terms operational Cost. Yeah, it was on uh, resources in deck building is what I think the, the um, video is called. Um, I consider it to be worth a look, but then in fairness, I would. Um, not going to hide the ego. Um, but you can see from this how long it's taken me, even with zero operation cost units, 
to be able to remove just those red devils. It's crazy. So combined arms is useful in the sense that it can be powerful, but the only time I ever include it in a deck is as part of 20 Panzer Grenadier, because I don't I personally don't value having the card in my deck because it's a use case card that's occupying a slot that could be used for a blitz tank or um Greif, which buffs your tanks or a bunch of other things. It depends on your specific play style and the way you want to go about things. Um, and there is certainly value in it. Um, but I find it to be... So I, there is a, in my opinion, somewhat outdated um, German starter deck that focuses... Um, I think Spoos did it. That was is a good. It's a good video, and it's a good deck in the sense that it uses combined arms. But I think combined arms is is hard for me to justify the card slot, if that makes sense, over the value of having one that I get for free from Twenty Panzer Grenadier. And it's amazing because Twenty Panzer Grenadier gives you also all of the tools to use it well. Um, but Germany self buff decks can be really good. Um. There are some really um, good interactions. On the subject of really good combined armed cards, there is the German... Ah, uh, Fighter. Whose name I forget. It's not the FW. It's the Trop. Um, which is the one that when you deploy it, uh, it gets... Um, it can be a can deploy as a six six if you control both an infantry and a tank as well as a, then deploying it. It's incredible value. Ah, Nero's archive. One of the best things in the world if you're into that sort of thing. The the archive of decks. Loathe to trigger the IS two until I can do something about it. So we won't. Yeah, you can. Uh, Nero's archive contains a lot of very good decks. Now, our opponent is either going to board wipe us, or we are going to get a very interesting turn. Our opponent is particularly focused on one. Um, I think the RNG would make the grind tough on field marshalling with it, because you're so wanting to see combined arms if you're all in on it. Um, but it can be good. Um, and I agree with Nero. I think most decks you can... Oh, please do. Keep focusing your fire on that big target. You have no idea how much I want you to keep doing that. Now... It is possible, it is just possible, that we are about to see a truly beautiful thing. Now... Ancestral Call is a niche card until you can do this with it. Looks for me. Yay, wild cards. Thanks, Nero. Um and thank you alex uh i persistently continued to set up uh for that play and i just wanted more and more units on the board 
because our opponent almost certainly didn't have a complete board wipe and if they did it's just gg there's not a lot we can do but if they just if you know that they're likely to focus on the big threat the massive unit you can pull that off an ancestral call is incredibly powerful especially if you can drop two of them so um, plus four plus four across five units is plus 20 plus 20. there aren't many even brit defense gain decks that can chew through that and then soak it up but we move on because we have a different game in front of us um frontal assault's okay we don't need the hammer old sickle on principle uh it's fine This is good. Um, being able to get to this position suggests that either our opponent is playing ramp um, or our opponent has just had horrible draw. In either case, quite happy to take advantage. One, two, three. I can afford to get spicy. I might as well see whether we draw anything even better. Wondering if we might get something cool, but this will do. Uh, this is not an enviable position to find yourself in this early in the game. That is a terrible time to play the Hien. This unit has Blitz. I talk about this in the video I was talking about earlier. The operation, the, the real terms operational cost of this unit is eight. You play it on turn eight. As it is, it, it's just sat there. Um, how do I want to do this? Uh, do this. To see if we get anything good, which we do. There is literally no reason that I have any interest in suffering you to even exist. So we're just going to remove you. Because we can put ourselves in a winning position regardless. I just, again, don't always have to go for face. I want to deny my opponent tools. That was a solid play from our opponent. Now, I remember the rule about only being able to take out so many units in a turn without help. Far away. We're banking on much the same thing that we were previously. Has our opponent gone offline? Because I'm not showing them loading their new credit total or drawing card. No, there we go. Um, can happen sometimes. There are things that could work against us. Um, supply priorities would be really good for our opponent right now. Um, island defense isn't. It's not it. So... Again, well played. And roll. Excellent. Uh, and after this game, as it's just gone quarter past, after this match, we will do our first giveaway. So exclamation point honey in chat if you have not already entered yourself and would like to win a free standard pack. The code for which I will get to you uh, via 
various means. Uh, you just need to reach out to me if you win. Uh, and we'll see who we get. Britain. Not my favourite thing to see when I'm playing tokens, because they have a lot of very good control for tokens. Uh, we'd like to get some early pressure. Um, so some of these are not cards that I particularly want to see. <laughs> we appreciate your largesse, Nero. We do. Um, good old fashioned tokens things. Okay. Um, I'm in the unusual position of not actually wanting to do anything. I have nothing useful to do with my credits. Anoint a Crusader, sure. Just gonna pop another one forward. Um, our opponent can start playing Swatter Fly. Fine with. There's the supply shortage. But ba bum bum boom. Okay, let's see if we've got another one. I mean, you're Britain, so you probably do. But we've got to eat through them somehow. This is a very unfavoured matchup for us. Um, what we really, really want our opponent to do is... Well... I mean... I'm not objecting. Um... Plus three plus three. Hey, Von Squirty, how are you doing? Um, shot. So, play this. Drop two of these little friends. One of these little friends. And wait. Big play. I like it. I do. Big HQ toll. That's a good play. Really good play. Do the top decking something useful. That's an utterly pointless play. That is unspeakably wasteful. gonna blow up this guard that that was a terrible play from our opponent you gain no benefit whatsoever there is no stacking effect and you really are about to find out unless you hit no no you you don't have no he played um snowstorm twice I, I mean, he might have been emptying his hand, but... Oh, oh, we're going to get OTK'd. Say goodbye. Say goodnight, chat. Wait. No, you didn't. Oh, you didn't. Oh. Oh, my word.
Uh, three, six, ten, ten, fourteen, seventeen. Yes. Okay. I'm confused. Sure. Uh, I'll get to what just happened momentarily. First of all, we're going to blow our opponent. Good game. I think. Sort of. So, our opponent's playing OTK. Thank you, Von Squirty. You you don't pull that trigger. You, you just you 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 do not pull that trigger unless you've got the win. Um, that was a winnable game for our opponent as well, by the way. Uh, right. I won. So did Laser Wars. Congratulations! You have won a free pack. Uh, I will contact you since you are following me on Twitch. I will contact you uh, with your code at the end of the stream. Uh, I will add you to my giveaway list. Congratulations. Uh, you are very welcome. Uh, this is something I enjoy. You don't have to thank me. This is something I just enjoy that we are able to do. Um, I, I think it is a fantastic thing that 1939 support us in doing. Um, and I think it has good value. Uh, I am going to hop down to my, excuse me, ever recommended aim desk, aim list, to see, this is not, is this, yes it is, so this is, this is our ideal choice, uh, yes indeed the new giveaway is open, uh, there is one more, so feel free to type exclamation point honey and see if you can win another one. So we have a few things in here, um, and I'm just looking at this because we've just picked up uh, two Soviet wildcards. I'm thinking about what we might want to craft with them. Um, this is our what we believe to be our final deck. Um, I think... Is there... We changed to oh we went to a US ally, didn't we? That's the difference. Um my apologies, but we actually uh we went to the US ally, uh which means the tokens final deck looks slightly different. So this is the full tokens final deck, but we're going to go and see what we might want to pick from the list that we don't currently have. Um Cards we can't have. So Red Dawn is useful um, and I think is probably going to be worth picking up. So we will pop into our deck. We will craft some Red Dawn, which we can do by just searching. And then I can do this. I'll craft a couple of these. Throw them in. Pretty good. Um, I shall see what I want to lose. Uh, the 164th is doing okay for us. Although, actually, honestly, I think, well, we can... Hammer's good for big removal, so I think it's just a couple of 164th because they largely get in the way. Um, and then... I think, for the moment, we're good. Uh, and we shall. Thanks, Laser Wars, no worries. <laughs> Ancestral Call. Uh, so, because we don't have access to close combat, this is the, the less efficient version, because it is way more expensive. But, as I... I'm hopefully going to continue to demonstrate on this climb. If you can play around your opponent enough to get Ancestral Call off, it has teeth. Because plus one attack for each other unit in their front is not small. Also note your units. This would apply to artillery and aircraft as well. 
seen this used on aircraft and artillery before too. It's not something we're doing, but it can be done. It's not a well-played card, because honestly... Hey, thank you, Steel Terror. Um, I appreciate the follow. I really do. Um, means the world that people support the content. Um, it, it's not a card that sees a lot of play, which I actually... It's, again, it's on my list of... I should probably do a list, another video to add to my endless list of videos. Under Bears underrated cards list. Um, it would be a long list. Um, am I just... I'm pitching no surrender, but I'm keeping the rest, right? Yeah, I think I am. This, this is good. Um, uh, I will need to obviously update that with the changes before our next stream. Um, wish our opponent good luck, because manners matter. Um, and we'll see where we go on this. Um... That's nice. I'm never going to object to that because now we can light the line of engagement. I still maintain. Didn't get a nerf. It just got a <laughs> squirty. Yeah, I caught your comment and I replied to it, and it does mean the world. I need to actually have a production schedule. Um, wow, like that. Uh, because I need to balance it out. Um, I get enthusiastic and I forget to just keep things in the bank for the future when I need to do other things. So I will continue making content. It will just probably only come out as one or two videos a week, not the many that I'm throwing out. Oh my word, it's Rasputin. The song is never going to get out of my head now. Um... Seriously, I massively appreciate the call out on that because it is a flaw of mine, pushing too hard. Um, uh, no, I'm still happy with the 164th. It's been doing work for us. It's nice to have a good frontline presence. Ooh, hello. It's a henshaw. So, huh. speaking of cards you don't see a lot of, it's good. I mean, it has fury. Um, but like a one operation cost unit with fury can be very powerful if you can get buffs on it. Yeah, I mean, it is all about impact. Um, I think line of engagement got the, the adjustment. I think it was a fair adjustment. Um, the, not getting the one in hand, but guaranteeing that you get the two, I'm fine with. Um, I think that's actually quite reasonable. Um, I'm going to get cute. Because I can. Um, two, three, four, five. Yeah, we can afford it. So deep off is good. Gets us two more in the front line next turn. Um, it, I, it, line of engagement plays. Hello. I need four damage. One. So I need two on you, which I can get. That's only plus one. So we're going to have to do it this way. So we just make you into a monster. So we do this, this. Say hello to the swag. People saw this, right? It was pointing at the other unit. That's annoying because it's going to turn this unit off. Good lord, it's swag. Hi, 
Never mind if our opponent wants to misplay, that's 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 okay too. Eat swag high roll. Wow. Plinkety plink. Two and two. Yeah, we'll buff everything. Nope, I'm not going to do it this time. I'm going to do this. See? This is this one. The one that I can actually use. Thank you. Bye. Say goodbye to the swag. Germany burn? I mean, sure. Oh, I feel no reason to entertain this nonsense. Germany, France, burn. Yeah, fun chat. Oh, just top deck ancestral call. You know you want to. Um, no, we don't do enough damage with it anyway. I'll take the face damage in this case because you can do the hard work and come to me. Wait, what? Nero, help me out? It... Is this a list I should recognise? It's not often I find myself not recognising a list. Yeah. But... Anyway, goodbye. Uh, sure. This is my confused twice. It's fine. It's going to have to be one hell of a Panzer Grenadiers. I mean, that is a very strong card. But you can't leave a single unit alive. There we go. Chang! Limited wild card. Two more stars. <laughs> um, I don't know. I don't want to say it's that bad, but it was very confused. It's like someone, like, I hate to say it, but it's, it's kind of like um, Swag High Roll and, and the old. Um, France mobilized list had a love child. It's the like the, 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 a creature that should probably not exist in my head, but um, sure. Uh, we we breathe, we roll on. Oh yeah, I mean, if, one of the things I will endlessly say. If you build a deck and you get to know a deck well enough and it's at least got some central mass, as it were, some actual core, you can get almost, almost all of the time, to be honest, you could probably hit Field Marshal with it if you just play it enough and get to know it well enough. While I have opinions, often quite strong ones, uh, I will try not to be overly dismissive of anything that I see, because experimental lists are fun. Um, I'm just, when I see something that new at rank 5, it 
sometimes surprises me. Might be someone experimenting with an idea, um, which is always cool. Um, I'm never objecting to that. I think that can be quite funky. Oh, hey, Outrider. Um, Sure. Eight. So Twelve. Yeah. It's over. Okay, you bar the door. Irresistible force of mathematics. How are you doing, Outrider? Good to see you. Always a pleasure to have you along. Don't miss out on the giveaway, which will be drawn some point around about 7 o'clock this evening, which is uh, exclamation point honey. Let's not curse it, but it's good so far. Um... Uh, I don't really want to see you. No objection to seeing Red Dawn, though, and Deep Operation's fine. Um, we don't mind not seeing the big one drops against Britain, because it's not our optimal play. <laughs> oh, team stats on it. I mean, I suppose people can always go back and watch the VODs. Um, Absolutely predictable. I'd rather see it now than later. Works for me. We have a Blitz Light Infantry in hand anyway. Buff the Light Infantry so that you have something to deal with. Ooh, Detached Battalion. Nice. Have a token. Nope. Don't like you, don't want to see you, not going to deal with you. Sure. Time management, it's a thing. Um... Name I don't recognise, but that doesn't mean much. Not a good deck, though. Uh, let's start clearing out. I mean, judging by the way he's or they are playing this deck. So far, so good. Brit Finland's interesting. Uh, 
Okay, kids. That's going to be hard to get out of the... It's fine. Don't need to protect the HQ. Need to protect the tokens. That Arthur is going to be a serious problem. It's trading time, and I don't like it. Ship, ship away. Come under my wing. Indeed. I try not to be the massive army nerd. Useful vehicle. Um... Possibly not quite as useful as it is depicted in being in this game. One might add. Um, Yeah, I know it is. Uh, I need to do it the other way around. Fine. Really don't like this. However, that thing's going to get ludicrous because we're a tokens deck. Sissio Sasto is basically death to us. Uh, we Unless we top deck the hammer, we don't really have an answer to it. And it's about to get out of hammer range. Like this. So if we top deck hammer, we can remove it. Otherwise, genuinely could be game. Um, it's not worth it. We're not advancing because there's no value in it, because all we're doing is feeding the Sissy Asasta. That card which needs a change. This text needs to have one word removed. Uh, or, well, technically one or two words, but it needs to either trigger on destruction or when a unit is added or deployed, not both. What, not advancing? Like it need to do it anyway. Six five. Which is the only way we can remove you. Which is good. At least it's off the board, but we're not in a good position now. Um I'm searching my brain for cards in this deck that would be an out and I don't think we have any um doesn't mean we're not going to try and find them is it worth it yeah might as well plink the honey um we done. Good game. Well played. Really well played, actually. Your name has been noted. As has that deck. One for me to go and have a look at at some point. It's a good use of Finland salvage mechanic if you can get it working. I did when I first started. 
Yeah, I think so. Um, I, I will probably re-watch it at some point, as I usually do, just to make sure I'm completely happy, but I'm not sat here instantaneously thinking that I would have done anything differently. Um, no reason to hold those. I want to see actually useful cards. Look, it's Red Devils again. It's going to continue doing Red Devil things. Okay. Interesting choice of play. After that, not disagreeing. Fascinated to see that deck in detail. Um, unsurprisingly. Nothing we can do about the Red Devils right now, so we're only doing one point of damage, so let's remove the point of damage that is there. Mechanically, what is my best play? Yeah, I think this is. Um, and then honestly, I actually think I just want more cards in hand for next turn. Yeah, I'm not going to make any argument. That was extremely well played. Really need. So, the discussion of Red Devils is relevant at this point. So, let's take a minute, because we kind of know what the play is going to be. Sitting right there. I like, no, no, it's not the 90s. Um, But... We will look at this. Unseating this Red Devils requires me to have straight three damage or to attack with three units. Attacking with three units is at minimum going to cost me four credits, three if I could get two Blitz Light Infantry down. That's a very expensive way to remove one really irritating unit. I'm grateful to say that there are ways round this. Uh, the first of which is just patience. I'm not going to rush at this. I don't need to remove it yet. I want enough light infantry on the board for there to be value. I could have burned a frontal assault to try and do that faster. I could have considered sickling to see if that would be, but as it is, I can sickle this coming turn. Which is my ideal way to remove it. Um, however, we're actually going to do it slightly differently. We'll do this. Because it's good. This kind of needs to die. I could, I suppose, remove the infantry, but I'm looking in my hand and working out what I would then do about a 5-4 self-buffing infantry unit. It's not a decision I want to make. If my opponent wants to create a 5-4 self-buffing infantry unit, Uh, we have none. We we don't have access. Um, later on, we might think about uh, including some end M10s um, if we can craft them. Um, the only problem is that they really slow the archetype down. Duress is a possibility. Um... Duress is a serious possibility. Um, so, this is not hyper complicated. You have to die.
it's gonna cost me three so if I I need to fire this now because then next turn I'm in a better position and since I have the spare credits we'll get some draw that's fine eat the eight damage don't really want to um I don't know, I um Wow, that was well played. I don't know whether it will because I don't know whether it's played enough. Um Nero will correct me if I'm wrong, because he keeps a much better track of this. But of the the top competitive decks I don't see that many of them running duress, even though it's zero cost. Um because there's such competition for the slot that I think most of them prefer to run um, other forms of suppression or removal. I look to the, the guy who actually keeps the records, though, because that's that's my hot take from just memory, which is substantially less good than... Well, this is a terrible starting hand. I, I I appreciate the confirmation because of, um instinctively that was my read. I actually think it's fine where it is. Um, it's incredibly useful at lower levels, upper levels. It's just it's not competitive enough um, to to be like suppression at lower levels and on certain forums. Reddit. <laughs> is talked about in very aggressive terms as being a terrible mechanic and overpowered and it can be a very potent mechanic um it really can but in the upper tiers of the game i just honestly don't think it's a massively strong mechanic simply because upper tier players are more interested in removal than they are in fiddling about bringing something down um i have four credits and i need to decide how i want to use them um i know i'm using three of them um i think do i know how i'm using three of them yeah i think i do because then i've got a nice clean use of red dawn which means that the Coldstream Guards dies. Not that I have anything against the Coldstream Guards. Perfectly nice human beings. Um, kaboom. Ping. Much better. Um, I'm expecting supply shortage any moment now. And then next turn, we all know what's going to get played. Ooh. Spicy. Very spicy. Uh, well. This is going to seem insane. But given that I know how much you're going to love supply shortage... Let's make it really awkward for you to use it. Well, you need monsoon rock. Against any other nation, I want to go wide with tokens. I really do. Against Britain, I want to stay narrow and stay large. Because it's the thing that Brit doesn't want to handle. Um... Brit decks do not want to handle are, are, are you insinuating that I might in fact you know be a royalist um is there some insinuation from my particular perspectives um 
for those wondering about this interaction. <laughs> I am part Scottish. Um, my grandmother, my uh, my um, maternal grandmother is Scottish. My paternal family is Irish, and uh, yeah, that that's the thing. But um, I'm also. I spent a lot of time in my youth around soldiers. Um, so at this point, it is one of those moments where I have cards in hand. I could play them. I'm actually going to do this. Sure. Yeah. I'm not going to burn cards which are a finite resource pointlessly don't mind burning credits they come back every turn another video i need to do um the the, the ranking of resource economy and importance in this game um but um uh for von squirty's um particular point of view uh my local regiment growing up was the uh, Northumberland Fusiliers, um, who I spent a fair amount of time with. And then there's there's a lot of, obviously, training grounds up around where I came. So uh, I have actually met someone from the Coldstream Guards, and he was a perfectly reasonable human. Um, I mean, as much as soldiers are. Um, and I mean that in the nicest possible way. Um, Sure. I'd much rather see it now than later. Oops. Not liking our hand. Not liking our position. Workable. Mm, giveaway after this game, I suspect. Do, 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 do. No, don't make me sad. And now I, if you, you, you have forty nineers in your name. Now I don't want to defeat you. That's that's unfair. That's entirely unreasonable. Um. That's that's oh dear. No, it's not playing fair. Sure. Okay. Tiny tanks. So, okay, so this is going to be thick or some variation thereof. That's fine, we can work with that. You can die, because I know what you're there for. I know your purpose. Yes, I do. Right then. I feel better. We didn't, and that was very rude of me. <laughs> but yeah, we like that. Out of interest, Von Squirty, um, what was slash is you, 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 you're an engineer, right? If I remember correctly from you briefly mentioning it, um, I. So, Field Marshal gets you a couple of things. Uh, Field Marshal gets you a... Oh, you're a gunner. Fair point. Yes, I know. Sorry, I confused you with a very old friend of mine who's a Remy. The two of you probably wouldn't get on. I can happily get on with both of you. I can sit in the middle. Um, he's, uh, he went to join the Remy's. It's a whole different thing. 
Um, get me started on that. But uh, no, so Field Marshal will get you... Uh, at the end of the season, if you make Field Marshal, you get a random elite card in gold. So like a foil card elite. Um, you also get... Um, a card back that you can only have if you have hit Field Marshal once. Um, you get you get to keep it, but it's card back that you can only get for Field Marshal. You get four packs. Um, you also get access to the second stage of competitive play, as it were. So at Field Marshal, you also get access to ladder which is a ranked system in which, as you play games, you go further and further up in ranks. And can, hypothetically... You can go away. You're annoying me. Uh, you can, hypothetically, uh, if you can get to the top 34, uh, you get invited to take part in the Officer Club um, clash. Um, each month uh, you go into the qualifiers and then the top eight from the qualifiers play in the final tournament. But the main thing that you get is packs, which are really good early on, and the gold elite. If you're really unlucky, when you first hit field marshal after really feeling good about yourself because you managed to hit field marshal in like 14 days when you download the game, you get given a gold elite that then is immediately, like literally three days later, rotated out of the game. And then you have a sad face. And no, these grapes are not bitter. Um, But yeah, the main thing that you get is is packs. Um, so continued growth of it. Um. Ping. But yeah, field marshal just gets you. I'm not going to lie, it, it, it hurt. But honestly, I actually did um, pop it in the feedback, um, suggesting that perhaps, since you obviously know what you're rotating in advance, as 1939, it might not be the world's worst idea to remove elites that are being rotated out from the random ones that you can get awarded for field marshalling that month. Just a thought. It's cute. It's still done. It's done. I mean, it's fine. I got, you know, plenty of other things from it. It felt good field marshalling as efficiently as I did. Lots of other things were good. Uh... I like spreading good feelings, but speaking of Outrider, congratulations, you have won the second uh, and last of today's. Um, it was the last of today's giveaways, but congratulations, Outrider. I shall put you on my notes. Always a pleasure, and then I will be in touch with your pack code, my friend. I love it when I get to give things to people. Yes, uh, OHX corn guy's musings on things he does and doesn't like. Uh, it's a really good... I actually, if you haven't... Um, so... Uh, open commentary and honesty being a thing, I was invited to join Team Heavy, and I'm therefore technically part of their organization as it were the group it was corn guy who reached out to me and said do you want to come 
and be part of it and scrim for OCCs and stuff like that. Help deck build. So I have a slight bias. But Corn Guy is a very quietly spoken, as you may have noticed on cast, very thoughtful person who is just a nice human being. One of the nicest human beings I've met in this game. There are many. Nero is also very high on that list. Um, and to see him take the time to give his thoughts is very meaningful to me because I know how passionate he is about the game and caring about it, and I mostly agree with him, actually, on almost everything that he says. I think he, he puts quite well his case for things that need to be thought... Well, that was helpful. Things that need to be thought, thought about. Oh. Oh. So, one of two things is about to happen. I'm going to find a way to get things under control, or we are going to get run over like an asthmatic, some form of asthmatic roadkill. Is if this deck gets going before we can get set up to do anything about it, it's going to obliterate us, which is why we're doing this. If you see this, do not suffer the humber to live. Burn it, burn it with fire. I did, yeah. Um, I am, uh, I'm active on their Discord, and I, I hop in for OCC scrims and stuff. So, should I ever actually compete, I would rep Team Heavy doing so. I was... Um, quite happy to to go along and be <laughs> i need to talk to corn guy about that um whether i get bits and pieces i've been the the i joined before i even start started casting um corn guy reached out to me very early <sighs> right fine so you're going to try every different way to pull this off no I know the trick you are trying to play. I will not suffer it to live. Um, but they are, they're, they're a good team. Um, they're, they're good people. Um, I, I like um, engaging with esports teams. Um, depends on the team, obviously. Um, but they are mostly just really nice human beings. And I'm as many of you are aware, very partial to nice humans. I'm conscious of how hard our HQ defence has been hit in the process of getting to where we're at. I'd love to do something about it, but this is, um... I'm not gonna lie, this is an extremely strong deck against us. Oh, who have you got on the interview line? That's always... I like that you do interviews. Um, that is something that I, I like to see more of, because I think it's really cool to get a chance to see different people's views and opinions. Um, I don't think we necessarily... Do. Fair enough. Curse you. But, um, yeah. I, I like being able to see where we go. Well, isn't this awkward, he said, because it really was. Uh, you have to die. I know what I want to do next turn, which means I'm interested in what I want to do this turn. I hate that regiment. I forgot how good you are. I need three E. Do we just ferret you out for next turn? No, because you put me off my curve the next turn. Oh, no, you don't. That's fine. We can do it this way. This is okay. It's fine. It's all fine. Because now you either trade out or I get to kill you next turn. All of which is fine. I have seven credits and I very specifically wish to play No Surrender and then uh, Frontal Assault. 
please. <laughs> because we need presents that sticks before we die. Okay. This helps. This thing has to get. So, remembering the rules of the game, as I had to remind Nero of, wouldn't matter even if I did. Can't play it. Paupers. Cannot play special or elite cards. Which is going to make this interesting. Sad face. That is an excellent play of carpet bombing. That's genuinely superb. Fine. I am for this run, yeah. Um, I really wanted to demonstrate that. Might as well get the draw. Uh, I really wanted to demonstrate that it can be done. Um, and I think it's it's a good thing to show the fundamentals of because I think actually it benefits us all, even the competitive players, um, to uh, occasionally play some pauper because it will remind us of the power of fundamentals. Oh boy. It's gonna be a long day. It's not often I'm happy to actually see the 25th. Really isn't. Generally, I find them very underwhelming and wish to replace them eventually with something better. However, uh, I don't have a final deck for this yet because I wasn't sure how it was gonna perform. Potentials, fine. Thank the Lord. Bang. Bang. Right then. Now, of course, what now happens, even though we've seen three of them, I think, is Monsoon Rot Supply Short. Uh, I'm glad to say that that's not what happens, because that would make me sad. Yeah, I'd just better things to use. Um, uh, sometimes it happens. Um, so you're making literally no difference back there. So let's spread the odds a little. And then let's remove this. It's been a dig. This, this has not been an easy game. Um, you only do two, I don't care. Uh, yes, you have Fury, that's very exciting for you. Could be worse, I suppose. Uh, you're gone. I need five. Two, I've got the credits, so we do this the efficient way. Or not. Sure. Not complaining. Hour and 15 minutes. Not bad. Six. Hadn't touched it. Um, I had not played a single ranked game. Um, no. It pops fine. Frontal Assault's okay. Red Dawn's probably useless. Um, so yeah, straight rank six. 
Um, this is literally our first flush with this deck. Uh, I mm, technically I've had it in I've had it out a couple of times in casual, as I believe did Nero on his own account. Have a version of this out just to make sure it worked, because you know it's a thing. But there's been no intensive play on this yet. So far, so incredibly generic. I mean, sure. Nice if you tipped your hand and showed us what you were actually doing, sir. But that wouldn't hurt. No, I might as well just take the damage. I mean, you're regaining it anyway, so... Hey, <laughs> Manette, no kidding. Um, uh, it's fine. It's all fine. We're all fine here. Everything's fine. Widen the field a little. So, slope three starts making. Yeah, let's get some weight going. And then we'll go honey hunting. But I want you to have a target to focus on. Turn six. It's very slow. Slow glamour boys are slow. Wall of summon wall of tokens. Gonna get the Crusader now, that's sad, but I'm still gonna take it. <sighs> Obviously. Well, <sighs> if at first you don't succeed. Continue throwing infantry at the enemy until they surrender. It's the Russian way. Must get through guard and do damage to HQ soon. Must get through guard and do damage to HQ soon, er. That was very smart trading. Hey, Petrichor, how you doing? Nope. It's four points to remove you. Da -da 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 -da. Right. Now we get monsoon rotted and supply shortage. Because that's how this goes. Oh, hey, SW patrol. A very suboptimal. Uh, please let me top deck sickle next turn. That would be good. Look, a Wellington. Hmm. 
That's better. Bye. Right then. I suspect you're referring to my opponents, because this is not a top tier deck. This deck couldn't be further from top tier if we tried. Um, it's going to be tight, Petricor. Really is. Not undoable. Ah, hello. Oh, now I'm happy. Uh, don't screw it up there. Optimal numbers. So, might I introduce you to my friends, Hammer and Sickle? Points for anyone who gets that reference, by the way. Um, sure. Halley. Fine. Sup shortage. Really annoying. Hello, do do do. You're dead anyway. Cannot afford to leave you alive. Engines are good. Save the board presence. Yep, it's just finding the finishing blow against Brits because they have so many ways of just going, Oh, I've got some more life. Sorry, by the way, uh, I forgot to mention I have some more life. Oh, that stung, sir. Excuse me, I'm just going to pop into the back where I've got some more HQ defense. Um... Pretty much. Don't worry about it, sir. There's more. Oh dear, we've run out of HQ defense going. Glamour boys? Um, yeah. Just fix it. Just not a lot. Just a bit. Because it's silly. It's not that I object to HQ defense gain. I don't on principle, but it's silly. It is far too easy. Ancestral call. No. Um, it's just too easy. And that is unhelpful. I do not have enough to kill you. Fine. You're going to... Continue doing your thing. Literally no reason that I wouldn't have these in hand, just in case. I honestly, it is what it is, and the game is the game, but... You'll excuse my language, come the fuck on, Bridget. Really? I mean, in our defense, we are one good top deck away from winning this game. Unfortunately... It's like, I'd like to see my whole deck, please. Certainly, sir, would you like a side order of HQ defense gain with your deck? Less I. The tedium, they are strong. Ping. Just out of curiosity, yeah. Um,
All right. Petrico's going to have to tell me where I missed lethal. I 100% believe I did. Uh, because I know how good you are. I'm going to watch this back and cry, aren't I? she goes oh god damn I did oh it hurts my soul appreciated hugely appreciated calling it out however it happens I appreciate the love too. I do, but no, no, we learn by doing. It happens. <sighs> Over focused on the big bomber when I didn't need to be. I've won games when my opponent has done that, so I'm not going to complain. Nah, I mean, I might be a little bit, but I don't. Excuses are excuses. Oh, uh, if I get. Like, I, the one thing I won't be doing is overrunning the way that I have been known to do. Um, when I was too tired, and I have said this to Nero, was on Saturday, when I overran at the end, had a loss, and I wanted to finish on a win because I'm an idiot. Um. And I, because I'm an idiot, pressed to try and get a winning finish. Guess what? I lost two more games, which was bad. And yeah, I mean, I, um, I don't, this is strictly, um, like earlier on today, I hopped on for my, a bit of my field. Um, for my to do some field marshal climbing, and I I literally played for like I think forty odd minutes. You can see it; the vod's still on. Um, I didn't chew around for too long. Stack for next turn. So then two, so I'm going to draw one, which will take us to eight. Put two in, which would, two in eight would go down to seven. Two in would take us to nine, which is perfect. So yes, I am correct. Uh, two giveaways today, and the winners were Laser Wars and Outrider. Nope, no wins for Henry. Sort of might change my mind, but probably not. No, it does change my mind because we really, really just. Wait, just adding some more units to hand. One of these is getting pushed back. It's fine. Annoying, but I need something that's actually got. Right, now is the time for the removal. So you can go away. It starts to feel a little bit better. Slowly but surely. I'm going to have to chip away, because it's not like they're going to run out of big, heavy units to irritate us with. Um, 
That's what I want this for. Okie dokie. So. Six. Uh, five. It's just no surrender, right? Because we can clear down and get somewhere. Taken is long enough. Very easy to get removed right now. However, if we can stick just one turn, we can change this very quickly. That's an interesting play. I'm not... going to overly get into it, but that was an interesting choice on our opponent's part. I want to be able to play Unity of Strength. Do I want to be able to play Unity of Strength twice? Probably do, because the bodies will help. So we buff here. Big body. Put the five on it. Do we just eggs in a basket time here? Or do we spread it out? No, just eggs in a basket for the big face hit. And just say find an answer. No M10A1 for you then. Works for me. What did we get? Ooh, a limited gold card. Yeah. Uh, I just want to see if he had the M10A1. Um, that was the only thing that could have um, killed us, but we had enough blitz development from the two um, deep operations in our hand to just refill the front line. Uh, it's pretty. Um, oh, we can open a pack though, that'll be good. Go to the shop, buy an office pack of the core variety. Uh, open that, be good. Uh, see what we get. I like expanding collections. Oh, we got a special. Uh, uh, we've got lots of Japan. Reorganized. Terrible card. Under fire. Indifferent card. Act on the intel. In the right deck. Can be quite good. Sixth Infantry Regiment. Awful card. Coastal Howitzer. Starting to see more play nowadays. Not entirely sure I see why. Um... Arctic Convoy can be used, and... Oh, Gebergs, Yaga. We can build an Alpine deck at some point. Um, it's not a bad card, actually, to be fair. Right. This is the point at which I do recognise that I'm starting to get a bit tired. So I'm going to go forth and see if anyone is streaming cards. Or Petrichor or anyone else in chat, if you are about to be streaming cards, please let me know. Um, you are streaming uh, Petricor is getting raided. Uh, let me grab the relevant information and we shall go spread the love, chat, because that's what we do. Thank you all for being here. Uh, and stick around because you get to go, uh, and hang out with, um, Another excellent player. Uh, and I will probably be on a little bit later on to chat too.
Do, 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 do. That's been a blast, and I look forward to the next one.